and there it is, Alderbrook Resort. I love it, honestly, I love it. It's over 100 years old. It's very welcoming, the feeling is just amazing, and um, the scenery is just killer, and how comfortable and relaxing it is, it's just great. We're here at our weekend getaway. Oh, it's not really a weekend. Weekday getaway vacation spot. Everything's a weekend when you work from home. We drove two hours south of Seattle and we're here on the Hood Canal at Alderbrook Resort. The room is very nice with the waterfront view. But yes, this is my favorite resort in all of Washington. Uh, I just like the proximity to the water as well as to the Olympic National Park and just the rooms are really nice. This is a four star resort, so it feels really good being here. On the website it says vintage Northwestern and I would have to agree because it's in the rainforest but also on the beach, which is exactly what you get in the Pacific Northwest. Inspector oh, Baby is checking out the room. <laughs> <laughs> Susie's giving a beer. We're on a date. I'm having a non-alcoholic beer because I don't like alcoholic beer, but it actually tastes really good. It's IPA, athletic brewing. I'm having mezcal with lime, very Mexicanish. And Julian is going crazy over here. Yeah, we're not actually alone. Julian is totally <laughs> over here. He's uh, playing around with a spoon. <laughs> He's stealing everything that he can get and it's very difficult to contain him at this point. No. You're not getting my knife again. No, no, tug of war. He's gonna cry now. I know, I'm sorry. But gorgeous place right on the waterfront. We have like snow capped mountains in the distance. Really, really nice. And those are the Olympic mountains. Uh, they're super pretty. When we first walked in, it was actually pretty uh, cloudy and you couldn't really see them. But like the weather is out here, it doesn't rain and be cloudy for too long. It actually does tend to change a lot. So now it's pretty clear. I don't even think it's raining anymore. As soon as we stepped into this resort, I felt so much more relaxed. Mm -hmm. It has that effect. Mm -hmm. You're removed and it's pretty and calm. It's so nice. Well, we're starting with a classic that you should absolutely get on the Hood Canal, but definitely in the Seattle area as well, which are fresh oysters. So we've got an assortment of oysters here. Uh, pretty much all of them, I think, are from this area. But we're going to start with the Lilywab oysters, which they say are the most popular. And then you can't forget the fresh squeeze of lemon as well. All right, here we go. Mm. Oh, it's so good. It took me a long time to like oysters, actually. I thought they were very suspicious. And um, after moving here to Washington, I started liking them a lot. They do tend to taste a lot like the sea, but those actually are really good because they don't taste too salty. They're meaty without being too meaty. Sometimes you don't want the super big ones because that can be a little bit too much oyster. But that's a good size and a good flavor. It's not too overwhelming. If they're fresh really nice. and small, they're great. Mm -hmm. Those are delicious. The first oysters we had were really good. Uh, the next ones are the Hama Hama oysters that we're going to try. And this is actually an oyster farm that you drive by. I think it's really close to here. Yeah, it's right actually, over there. Yeah, you can stop by, have oysters fresh from the farm. Uh, I would try them grilled, actually. They're super good when they're grilled. But yeah, we're going to have these raw ones now. Whatever the sauce is, it's amazing. And some lemon. It is so fresh and kind of sweet, actually, when the whole oyster does. There we go. interesting on our oyster platter there's a variety of sauces which there usually are but they also included some house-made kimchi which I've never actually had with fresh oysters before but this kimchi was really well done I'm Korean so take my word for it it's really good it's one of the best kimchi I've ever had <laughs> right we're pleasantly yeah. surprised it was so much easier dining out with him when he was tiny and just would sit in the stroller remember in Wilsonville he just yeah. was like quiet the whole night long we could have the like, a four-course dinner, and he was so quiet. 
Now he wants everything and if he doesn't get it, he starts squealing. Okay, we just had a fantastic dinner here right above the water on the Hood Canal in the Outer Brook Resort. It's very pleasant, the food was very good, the salmon was just perfect. I can't say how much I liked it. It's beyond words, actually perfect salmon. And now Susie went to work and Julian and I are taking a walk down here through the grounds. Um, this is the first level of the resort and it's my favorite because it's where the garden and the beach are. It's very pleasant so far. It's my first time in the resort. Susie came here one time but I had to go to India for work at that time. Here is, you can see the main part of the resort. See how it's nestled in the forest with a lawn. Here I'm noticing they're using lots of rhododendrons and they are local plants which thrive in this rainforest. Over here we have the pool which is right next to the water actually, the sea and the pool is something we're going to visit and film tomorrow because look at that behind there through the window is the sea and the pool is in the foreground amazing through this trail here i am going to go right into the sea and here it is the clearing boom waterfront how nice is that and this first level of windows right here is where we ate i think i was sitting right here in this corner. Behind me now is the resort. You see how I am in front of it. It's right behind me. And I myself at this point am on the dock going into the water. It looks like at the moment is low tide. And this could mean, and indeed it does, there's lots of oyster shells right on the ground here and indeed the oysters we just ate are from this body of water which is Hood Canal and it's part of the Salish Sea but it's very enclosed and because of that it's very still as you can see but now actually this is my first time on the east side of the Hood Canal and I think I like it well technically we're on the south side but it has this kind of a hook shape but I like this side more because you get the views of the Olympic mountains on the other side you don't Here's Seattle where we left. We drove like this through a bridge and all the way down here. This is where we are now, Alderbrook. This is the Hood Canal, which I was telling you about, like a hook. And we're on the south side of this hook, looking northwest. You see the mountains like this. And um, you see how there's only this little opening on the canal. That's why it's so still. It's like a lake almost, but it's actually a sea. And that's why it's full of oysters. On the end of the dock here, they have some vessels, police vessel, interestingly, and another kind of a flat pontoon style boat. And beyond that, you can actually rent all these. You have the sea bicycle, you have the paddle boards, and you have kayaks and a few other boats. This is really a very quintessential Northwestern experience. It's just everything about it is Northwest. I love it. And in particular, the marine and the west side of the northwest, because we do have a lot of desert and wild west canyon stuff. But this is the, the forested coastal area. How's it going, Julian? Are you impressed? Are you happy with your resort experience? <laughs> Smile. There it is, Alderbrook Resort. I love it. Honestly, I love it. It's over 100 years old. It's very welcoming. The feeling is just amazing. And um, the scenery just killer and how comfortable and relaxing it is is just great well it's the next day in alderbrook we didn't have the best sleep last night unfortunately but it's not because of the resort the resort was wonderful it was this little guy so yeah he kept us up or woke us up a couple times last night so it was a little rough to sleep but it was really really wonderful to wake up to the stunning view of hood canal as well as some of the mountains they're just popping out this morning and this is just a gorgeous and restful place to wake up at now we're going to go and do something new, or somewhat new, for this guy here. Ever since we 
once we found out we were coming to this resort, I've been looking forward to this moment. Baby's second swimming pool experience. You can tell that he had a blast. Did you have fun? on our way out of here, a quick little work trip for us. So it was a really, really nice day, really relaxing. We enjoyed our time at the pool. We enjoyed our dinner, about to do lunch as well. And yeah, overall, just super relaxing. And I love, you know, I love all the green spaces here. I think that that's a really thoughtful thing that they've done. The landscaping is fantastic. And there's all these little nooks where you can just kind of sit, have your coffee and just be on your own. And they're just so beautiful. Yeah, this was my first time here and I'm already a fan. As soon as you get through the door, it's so relaxing. I was also able to go out in the hiking trails a little with my coffee this morning. And I found some amazing views or just little like bushcrafted furniture in the forest where the guests can hide and drink or eat or read or just meditate, stretch. It's so amazing. Yeah, it's worth saying that there's quite a few outdoor activities that you can do. It was a little tough for us to do just because of our short stay and we have this little guy here who's pretty sleepy as you can oh. tell. But yeah, there are hiking trails nearby, there's uh, kayaking, there's you know fishing, there's so much you can do outdoors and so we definitely hope to do that on a future stay. Yeah, next time we'll be doing all the adventuring. We have this little one very sleepy now we have to deal with. And another one right there. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's going to take a cat nap. <laughs> it's about his time. Yes.